Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn least cost method. This is the second technique of transportation problem. Last class we have seen how to solve the transportation problem using northwest method. This is the same procedure, but the only difference is that we are taking into consideration the less value, the least value from the full values okay and then same procedure we are following All right so this is the question given for you so values are given uh, f1 f2 f3 f4 they are the sources w1 w2 and w3 they are the destinations 5 8 7 14 supply 7 9 18 it is a demand same way okay so here these are the values 2 7 4 3 3 1 5 4 7 1 6 and 2 so in this method, we have to find the least value from the given. Okay. So before that, we have to check whether this is balanced or not. Okay. So sum of demand you will get. Sum of demand you will get 34. And sum of supply also you will get 34. Hence you can write it is balanced. Okay, so now the problem is balanced. Now we have to check which is the least value from the cost. So the least value is 1. Okay, so just there you make the allocation. So the less value of um, 8 is the supply and 18 is the demand. So same 8 and 18. Less value is 8. So you have to take 8. Okay, and then we have to cut this 8 as 0 and this will become 10. And you have to cancel the full row. You have to cancel the full row. Okay, now one row is we have removed. Now we have to check the next one. Next least value is the next one. That is first two ones are here. You might have noticed. Two one values are there. So just find the first one. That's all. Okay. Now come to the second one. So now that's the least value. So take this. Okay. There 7 and 14. 7 is the demand and 14 is the supply. So there you take less value and that is 7. Okay. This will become 0 and this will become 7. And you have to remove the column. Okay. Now two allocations over. Now you have to go for the next less value. 2 is it. This 2 has been removed. So just leave it. Now 2 is there. Alright. So for the 2, 10 and 7. So write the allocation value as 7 because that is less value least value so 7 this will become 0 and this will become 3 and remove this particular row okay now that's over now the next least value we are having 4 right so you have to take this 4 first. I am taking this 4 first. So write the allocation 5 and 3. So we have to write here 3. Less value is 3. So this will become 0. And this will become 2. And you have to cut this. Okay. Now we are having the value 7 and 4. Now two values are left. 7 and 4. The less least one is 4. Four. Yes, now you are having 7 and 4. The least value is 4. So 4 is allocated. 7 and 9. 7. Okay. This will become 0. And this will become 2. Cut this. That's over. Now this 7 is there. So for 7, 2, 2. See this is 2 and this is also 2. Same way. Okay. So, we have to write this allocation as 2. This allocation is 2. Now, this is also removed. So, now allocations are over. Okay. Now, what you have to do is, 
you have to check whether this is the initial feasible solution or not number of allocations are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six allocations so number of allocations is number of allocations is equal to 6 and we have to equate it with m plus n minus 1 number of row plus number of column minus 1 here number of row is 4 number of column is 3 so 4 plus 3 minus 1 that's also 6 so number of allocation is equal to m plus n minus 1 so this is initial feasible solution okay now you have to write z total cost is equal to 7 into 2 plus 4 into 3 plus 1 into 8 plus 4 into 7 plus 7 into 1 plus 7 into 2. Okay. So you will get as 83 rupees. Okay. So this is the way how least cost method can be done. Very simple it is. Just consider the least value from the table and then allocate it same way before that you have to check for balanced or not if it is balanced and carry on uh, if it is not you have to make it balanced and then you have to carry on okay so for the least cost you have to check the least value from the list and then you have to proceed you have to cut either the row or the column same way which is the less value that is either the demand or the supply which is the least value you have to substitute as the allocation for that particular cell and you have to continue okay so this is least cost method which is a second method of transportation problem hope it was clear for you thank you